Hey guys, Big E Farming here. I've got some really cool news for you about Comsden Farm. Now, there have been a few people who have put out a couple of videos about this, and I just want to make sure that everybody who follows me has the ability to reap the same rewards. So I'm going to show you something about the farm and the land with Comsden Farm. Now, obviously, when you start out, you're going to start out with around $100,000 or maybe $1.5 million, whatever level farm you start out with. Now, one thing about this particular map that I think is also available on other maps, but I want to show you on this one. If we go to the map overview, okay, obviously I'm starting out in the beginner, so there's some fields here and so forth. But let's say you start out on a different level and you don't have any fields, but you don't have a ton of money either. There's a little secret that I'm going to show you right now. And if you come up here, you can see that there's, you know, I'll go ahead and say, you know, there's probably like field number five, field number seven, field number nine. So when you click on the farmland here, you can see there's number nine. And if you buy it, the value is, I believe, I want to say that's like 597,000. This one's 277,000. This one's 903,000. This one is 230,000. But see this blue area here? If you click on that blue area, I don't know if it'll let me do this. But it says buy land for $0. I don't know if you can see that, but it is zero dollars. Okay, so you say yes. So now I own all of this land. And if I scroll out a little bit here, all of this land for zero dollars. So I didn't spend a single dime. As you can see, I still have the 100,848. My point being here, though, is right over here this is all land you could turn into a field you could turn this land into a field you could even turn this land into a field so you can actually build your own fields without buying any additional land to start out with i thought that was really cool and i just wanted to point that out to you guys just remember, though, if you ever want to sell that land for whatever reason, if you make any changes to the land, if you put any placeables down on the land, if you do anything with the land, modifying it in any way, you are not going to be able to sell the land. So please be careful and use that accordingly. If you know you're never going to get rid of it because you're never going to make any money on it, then that's fine. But if you think you are going to get rid of it at some point and you're just going to sell it back for zero dollars, then you're not going to be able to make any changes to this land. So that is it in a nutshell. I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, I came across it and I thought it was pretty cool because I have another playthrough set on a different difficulty level and I was having a really hard time trying to figure out what field I should buy and so forth um, to manage my finances and still be able to get tractors. I thought this was really interesting because this would be an absolute game changer to be able to make your own field after you buy some equipment and basically start from scratch on the ground and not have to buy any actual land to start out with. And then as you grow your fields, you can obviously buy the other land. Just something I wanted to share with you guys. So hopefully you like the video, you like the information, slap that like. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Feel free to leave comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Biggie Farming, out.